All right, so for the Hokusai project, what you guys are gonna do is start off with the sketch paper. There are four rectangles on here for you to sketch. Um, you do want to make sure that the image is horizontal like this. Um, so we are drawing either landscapes or seascapes. Uh, Hokusai is also very noted for his images of flowers and birds. You are going to end up using two of these sketches. Um, so I'll only make you do three of them total. You can do four if you would like. Like I said, there's four rectangles on here. Uh, but I'll only make you do three different sketches. And then you're going to pick your favorite two. One of them has to be a landscape or a seascape, right? An image consisting mostly of land or mostly of the sea. The third image, or the I'm sorry, your second one that you choose to go with for your final project, um, it could be a landscape or a seascape as well. For the second one, you may choose to do one of those images of flowers or birds that he is also famous for, okay? So one has to be land or sea. The second can also be land or seascape, but the second one may be flowers and birds, something like that, okay? So to do these sketches, you don't have to get completely detailed on here. Just kind of get the general gist and you can always add more uh, details on your final versions. And then I have all of these different images in the folders for you guys to look through. I also have on the iPads, I went on and saved. There is a, a Google G app on the front page of all of the Art Room iPads and underneath it, it says Hokusai in all caps. If you tap on that, it will take you to the Google images for, oh, it's loading for Hokusai. All right, so that'll just save you guys some time of like, what do I search? I would like you to only go there when you are looking on the iPads for images of Hokusai, okay? So there's a lot of options on here as well. So if you don't get an iPad, you can always look at these. So we're gonna take some time right now and work on those three different sketches. And then, like I said, you're gonna choose two for your project. All right guys, so I finished one of my sketches so far um, and I just kind of jotted down some things that I wanted you to keep in mind while you were working on your sketches. Um, first of all, you are more than welcome to take ideas directly from Hokusai's images that you see. So clearly I have Mount Fuji in mind here. I was really inspired by this one. I thought this was a really cool image of his. So feel free to be directly inspired by his work and kind of um, mimic his images if you feel. You can also take uh, a couple of different ideas. Let's say you really wanna have the great wave, but you also wanna have you know, some trees like this one in there. You're, you can figure out a way to combine multiple things um, from different artworks into one on yours if you would like to do that. Um, and you can also feel free to completely make up your own. We want to try to stay in that style of Hokusai, um, but you know, if you can think of something that you don't see, you're welcome to draw something totally different if you would like to. Um, also, in my foreground, I'm gonna have more details than in my background, right? As things get further and further away, we're not gonna be able to be able to see as many details in the background, the middle ground and background as we would in the foreground, right? That's supposed to be closest to us, so we would see the most details there. And then remember, these are your sketches. So once you transfer this drawing and create it on your final paper, it should be much, much, much more detailed, okay? This is just gonna help act as a guide for you.